To work effectively in a 3D program such as 3ds Max, you need to understand how reference coordinate systems work. When you transform an object, move, rotate, or scale it, you can choose different points of reference around which that transform will happen. In 3ds Max, the reference coordinate system is chosen from this pull-down list here. And it's sticky for each of the three transforms. In other words, 3ds Max will remember your choice for each of the three transforms. Right now I've got the Move tool active, and I can choose a different reference coordinate system. Let's use the World coordinate system because that's the most easy to understand. When I activate that, then when I move something, it will be moved according to the world coordinates, or along the three axes of the grid. If I select an object such as the base of my robot, you'll notice that the move gizmo is aligned with the world coordinates. In the lower left-hand corner of each viewport, you will see an axis tripod that indicates the current orientation of the world coordinates. When I've chosen world coordinates as my reference coordinate system, then the transform gizmo is always aligned with the world grid. That's very simple and very straightforward. The default reference coordinate system, however, is not world, but view. And in view coordinates, when you transform something, you're transforming it relative to the viewport itself. In the top view, it just so happens that the view coordinate system is identical to the world coordinate system. You can see that my transform gizmo shows X pointing to the right and Y pointing up. And the axis tripod also shows X pointing to the right and Y pointing up. However, if I choose a different viewport, such as this left view, the transform gizmo is still aligned with X to the right and Y going up, but the world coordinates are in some other orientation. Once again, the view coordinate system operates in screen space. The transform gizmo is aligned with the current viewport. The exception to that is the perspective view or a camera view. I'll right click over here so I don't lose my selection. And you'll notice that in this case, the transform gizmo is not aligned with the viewport, but rather with the world. The view coordinate system operates in screen space, except for in a perspective view or camera view. And in that case, the view coordinate system defaults to the world coordinates.